Right, hang on to your seats. At this point, I normally say, come to the effects library, find your fusion clip, blah, 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 blah. We're not going into fusion today. We're going to do it all on the edit tab. First thing we're going to need is our text. So we'll bring in, it doesn't matter whether it's a text plus node or a text node. Set it up how you want it. I think a nice sort of blocked text works quite well with this kind of effect. So once you've got your text set up how you want it, you need to bring in your footage that you want to appear in your text. So we'll use this scene here. Decide how long you want this to happen and trim your clips appropriately. So we'll leave it at five seconds for the time being. In previous videos of this effect that I've seen, you select your top clip, come to the composite modes and you find multiply like so. And that puts your video in your text and that's great. And then you can animate this. The difficulty we've had with this or I've had with this is if you want to have this black area as something else, it kind of doesn't work because as soon as you put something underneath, the multiply effect that you had on your first clip also takes into account the bottom clip. And so it kind of doesn't look right. You end up with both clips multiplied together. So that's been a limitation of that kind of method. Now, the new method is to select your top clip, but instead of using multiply, we're going to carry on scrolling and at the very bottom of your composite mode you've got these uh, matte controls effectively that were introduced somewhere in Resolve 17. I'm not exactly sure when. Uh, they came to my attention via videos by Mr. Alex Tech where he used these to apply mats and have videos appear in shapes. And that's exactly what we're doing here except the shape is your text. So with your foreground or with your top clip selected, come to your composite mode and change it to foreground. Now, if you go to your text node, come to the top, by default, you're on titles, go to settings and go to the composite mode again. And again, go all the way to the bottom. But this time we're going to make our text an alpha. And that brings us back to our text with the black background. But the difference here is if I now bring some other footage underneath is the footage underneath appears as it's supposed to. And so you can have your text appear above another footage or above a color generator of some description. Once we've established that this is what we want to do. We now need to work out how to animate the text and that's fairly straightforward. And this is exactly the same method that was used in earlier videos. You bring your playhead to the point that you want your zoom to start, select your text node and then press control and B to make a cut. Decide where you want your zoom to finish. And this time select your text and your top video layer. And again, Control and B. So this bit of text we can get rid of because you don't need it anymore. This top video layer, I don't actually think you need to do this, but just to sort of keep things tidy, come back to your composite mode and just change it back to normal. And now we need to animate this section of text. So select your text node. Again, still in the settings, you've got dynamic zoom, just check that to turn it on. Now by default the zoom goes the wrong way. You can see it sort of out and pulls back in slightly. So we need to adjust the dynamic zoom. To adjust the dynamic zoom come to the bottom left of your viewer and you've got this drop down menu and you want the dynamic zoom settings. This puts these two boxes, the red box and the green box on your video the green box is where you start and the red box is where your zoom ends up. So what we need to do is grab the red box, shrink it down, 
and we need to put it so that it's fully encompassed by part of a letter so that it's not overlapping onto the background like it is here. So I think somewhere in there is probably going to work. So that's totally within the new video now. Then we can zoom back out, grab your green box and just pull it to the edge of your frame. And you should be good to go. If we now play that through, you get your zoom effect. One of the benefits of this method is that we can now come forward a pace. If we select these two bits of clip and cut, get rid of the bottom one. And now if you move your top clip down to the bottom, it now becomes the background and you can start the whole process again. So you can bring in another text node. You can bring in some different footage. We can add in some different text. We'll leave it a custom text for now, just for the sake of demonstrating. If you just click on your little dynamic zoom icon in the bottom left, it'll turn it off for a minute, just so you can see what you're doing. So again, you want your top clip, composite mode, foreground, text, go to settings, composite mode, alpha, And we can adjust our text so you can actually see it. Like so. Again, pick where you want your text to start zooming. Cut. Pick where you want it to stop zooming. Select your footage and your text and cut. Get rid of the last bit of the text because you don't need it. Reset the composite mode on your last bit of video to normal. Come onto your text, activate your dynamic zoom in the settings. And again, activate your boxes and again, find a convenient place to have your zoom go to. In fact, let's go wild and put it on the T this time. And you can basically do that as often as you need. And now you'd end up with two sorts of zoom text. Like so. So the final thing, once you've got your zoom set up, is you can add some easing to the zoom, select your text, come to the inspector, and under the dynamic zoom, you've got ease. Just change that to ease in and do it for both. If you've got more than one, lot of text do it for both and that just smooths the ease it starts slowly and then picks up speed towards the end like so hope that makes sense hope it helps it's just a little bit of an update on an old system thanks for watching please feel free to hit the like subscribe and notification bells and i will see you on the next one cheers